Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. It's going up at a random time. I'm going to be totally honest. I've honestly just missed filming videos. I know I said I was going to be on a YouTube hiatus. I did say that occasionally I might get a digital plan with me up here and there. Um, so I needed to plan out next week. I was kind of in the mood to plan out next week and I figured I would go ahead and record my screen and kind of go back to the voiceover style of digital plan with me. This is the way I used to do it and honestly, it's much less time consuming. I'm able to plan out my week wherever and whenever I want. I don't have to depend on good lighting and you know, sit at my filming desk. So it just makes it a more enjoyable planning experience for me. There's less pressure because, you know, if you're not new here, you know that I tend to be a little long-winded. I talk a lot. I'm chatty and, and that's all fine and good too, but I'm in this place right now where our lives are about to change quite a bit. We're going to begin homeschooling and I'm really excited about it, but it's going to be a lot of trial and error for a while, just figuring out schedules. You know, we have our idea of how we want to do things now, but of course, once it's all in action, we're probably going to need to make adjustments and things like that. So I'm going to have less time to work overall during the week and YouTube is not as high of a priority as creating products for planning to prosper for my Etsy shop and everything. I love YouTube though. Like honestly, I really do. And I really did start to like miss it. Um, I enjoy filming videos. I enjoy sharing things with you guys. And I just feel like it's a really great way for me to connect with you. So like I said, I was just in the mood to plan out my week and I was like, you know what? Why don't I just record my screen and I'll do a quick voiceover just so I can check in with you guys. So here's the thing. <laughs> I have a very type A personality, but I have a very chaotic life and I feel like that just comes with the territory. When you have two small children, you have two puppies, you have a home to maintain, you're running a business, you're trying to take care of yourself as well. There's just a lot of moving parts and as much as I want to have this whole like schedule and routine where I have specific videos go up on specific days, which is something I've been striving to do for the longest time. And honestly, it just doesn't work out most of the time because I run out of time to film or filming just gets put on the back burner and stuff. So as a viewer of YouTube videos, I know I really enjoy when YouTube channels are more, you know, on a schedule when they're posting videos on specific days and I kind of know what to expect. I look forward to seeing their videos when they're like normal posting time and days and everything like that. So I know as a viewer, having that predictability is really nice, but I also completely understand that, you know, it's, it's totally like, um, how do I say I'm getting distracted because my three-year-old randomly came upstairs and I'm like, okay, of course <laughs> she's been like quiet and downstairs this whole time. And then I decide to film. And so we'll see if she is good. Normally she comes upstairs and immediately comes to my office. So we'll see if that happens. I don't know, but, um, she's sneaky that one. Like Andrew turns his back for two seconds and she is up here so quick. But so what was I saying? Um, Oh, so I just totally understand that a lot of YouTubers who are on YouTube, like th that's not their full-time job. I know there's quite a few who do YouTube full-time, but a lot of the people I watch, it's more of like a side thing. You know, they have a different full-time job and they're just kind of making videos as they're able to. And so I completely understand when they're not able to stick to a schedule or they have to miss a video because, you know, it's, that's the way it goes. So... I don't know if I just want to say like, I'm going to have new videos weekly and I'll try to make it as consistent as possible. I, I don't want to come off as wishy washy, but I feel like with YouTube, it just has been cause I've been trying to like make it work and it just hasn't been. And, um, you know, I just, I, I, like I said, I, I love the idea of being on a schedule with YouTube and filming specific videos on specific days and like, you know, all of that, but like, it's just not realistic for me, I'm finding. And it's kind of a hard pill to swallow because I feel like I've been working at it for so long. And 
I did get to a point where I was just like, okay, like this is fine. Like if I'm not able to film, it's totally fine. Not a big deal. And I was at peace with it, you know, cause I just, I knew what my priorities were. Um, but it's just, it is something I love to do. It doesn't feel like work to me to sit down and to film a video for you guys. It does not feel like work. It's something I really love. So I want to make time for it, but, um, yeah, anyways, so random little tangent there, but I have been plugging away at the one month planner. So that's why I went on my little YouTube hiatus, which is still continuing on. Um, I am hoping to have my May monthly plan with me up sometime next week because I'm going to need to sit down and plan out the month at some point. And I'm probably going to go back to what I used to do. Like my monthly plan with me is I'll film those in real time. And then these like more weekly ones, I think will be more of like the screen recordings and stuff like that. So that's what I used to do. It worked really, really well. So I'm just going to go back to doing that. But I'm currently working on the September one month planners and I've got July and August up in the shop officially. So my goal is every couple of days to get the next like month set of planners up in the shop. And then by like next weekend, the whole rest of the year through December, 2023 will be up because then I have to start working. I have a whole bunch of stuff I have to start working on. Um, and I'm trying to like pull it up on my iPad, but my iPad's being funky. It's going through like a software update right now. So I don't think it's going to cooperate with me, but, um, yeah, I just have a whole bunch of stuff. I need to start working on the quarter three no frills planner. So that's going to be going up in May at some point. And then, um, I need to start working on all the like academic, um, academic products. I did get a question about this. Like as far as inserts, I know there's been a lot of like new products introduced as far as the no frills planner and the sidekicks and things like that. I am still working on things for the hub system as well. The hub system is not going anywhere. You guys might hear water running. Um, Andrew's giving Jules a bath, I think <laughs> for whatever reason. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to be working on, um, things for the hub still inserts add-ons all of that it's all still going to be released in the shop so the hub system's not going anywhere um but it's just there's a lot to juggle and i mentioned this in our facebook group but i have an incredible incredible team and i'm so grateful for them because honestly at this point i have no idea what i would do without them they helped me put together the sticker kits um allison one of our p2p team members she helps crop and compress things and sharon puts the good notes files together they're able to test out products for me and give me feedback and things like that before they launch but when it comes to actually creating the products themselves it is just me i am the only one i don't have a designer i don't have anyone that is helping me put planners together or inserts together like when it comes down to the actual design process it is just me and now car is trying to get into my office door oh my gosh okay it's so funny because this whole morning it's been so quiet and peaceful and then of course like when i'm like i just want to sit down and film like do a 10 minute voiceover all of a sudden everything's just going crazy what are the odds right what are the odds but yeah, so when it comes to products and things like that, especially once we start homeschooling, I'm going to need to be very, very strategic with how I time things. I'm going to need to prioritize stuff. I'm not going to be able to release things as quickly as I would like to. My hours are going to be cut pretty dramatically. I'm going to be working. I've been working, honestly, probably upwards around 60 hours a week in total because I will still work weekends sometimes and nights sometimes. Um, not as much as I used to, but I still do occasionally. So, um, but I'm going to be going from that to like working, you know, six to seven hours a day versus like the typical, like nine to 10 hours that I usually work. So that's quite a big difference. Um, I'm probably not going to be working nights very much at all because I'm not going to be able to. There's just no time for it. I'm going to be waking up very, very early to make sure that I am getting some good self-care in because with running a business and homeschooling and all these things, if my self-care is not up to par, I am not going to do good. And I know that. So I'm trying to really work on getting a solid morning routine 
established and part of that is having to wake up early. I used to be such a morning person back in the day and then I sort of fell off that wagon and I honestly like I think just when I started running the business and staying up really late like I just got into this habit of like sleeping in in the morning because I was up so late like the night before so I'm trying to like get to bed earlier and all this kind of stuff so working at night's not going to be an option I'm really going to want to keep weekends open um, for my for family time I feel like that's important I still take a sabbath every Sunday and um, I you know really try to stay off screens and kind of unplug for the day and just be with my family on Sunday so anyways I'm just gonna need to it's just bear with me is basically what I'm trying to say because things are changing over here with my family life and like I said it's just me that's creating the products and so when I when my schedule gets wonky I don't have people that I can pass things off to or like you know that sort of thing if I get sick nothing gets done you know in the office which did happen to me um, last week and it also happened to me this week I had a I woke up with a fever the other day and we've had sickness just kind of going through our family like little like head cold situations and so um, when that happens and I get slowed down like that's it like I don't have the only way I can like counteract that is to work more hours and I feel like I just am not going to have as much flexibility in in terms of that like once we're homeschooling and stuff um so it's just yeah it's just going to be a lot so just bear with me I do try to keep you guys as updated as possible with release dates and things like that um you know like timelines of things but I I have gotten away from being too specific. I'm vague on purpose and I always did like give the disclaimer like subject to change because it's just me, you know? So um, I don't want to get you guys excited for things that may not happen and I prioritize my like the products that are being released based off of demand. I know last summer academic stuff was something people really wanted. I unfortunately didn't have time to get to it. So this summer I really want to make sure it's a top top priority and that academic stuff for student teachers, homeschoolers, that all gets released. Um, so that's going to be a big project of mine and then we're going to be working on you know revamping the hub system and one month planners doing our typical like little updates to the sticker kits and stuff like that um, so we'll be working on that over the summer and then that will be releasing early fall so I usually won't share you know what's being released until I know for certain that it's going to be released like I give a launch date once I know for a fact like okay I've made X amount of progress I know I will be able to get this done that's when I share launch dates and stuff like that so I'll be trying to keep you guys in the loop as much as possible definitely you know watch out for videos on YouTube I do give lots of shop updates and like the digital plan with me's and behind the scenes once when I actually film them I haven't been able to film those lately but um, but yeah anyways I just wanted to check in with you guys let you kind of know what's been going on over here and just say hi because I do miss posting videos and chatting with you guys in the comments and all that kind of stuff um, but yeah I had to just take something off my plate so I could get these one month planners done um, and I'm excited I feel like I'm making really good progress I've been able to really plug in and get it done so um, but anyways, um, let me know in the comments below. I feel like it's always really, really helpful to know in regards to YouTube. What are your favorite videos? What do you want to see? I feel like that is really helpful to me just to make sure that, you know, the time I am able to commit to it is, you know, it's something that you guys are excited about. <laughs> like I, I'd hate to just film videos and then it, it, they just don't get watched and whatever it may be because it's just something and now the garage is opening what is happening I might need to go check and see what is going on <laughs> so anyways um, I'm gonna go see what's going on with my family there's just lots of things going on so I feel like I need to get out there and just check in but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little digital plan with me and um, if you did of course give this video a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos whenever they may be <laughs> again let me know down below what are your favorite videos to watch that will help me tremendously if you could let me know that and um, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will chat with you all later. Bye.